Hey, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. And guys, today it is a day seven of Dolls Must. And again, we are looking at another miniature thing. Now, this was supposed to be day six, but you know, this needs sunlight. So I, I, I couldn't really do it. <laughs> this is a new line of mini foods from MGA's and Miniverse. Now, if you guys are unaware, Miniverse pretty much came out first with like miniature Bratz dolls. And I think now they've expanded to like miniature little tykes. And I think next year they're doing LOL surprise. I don't know. But this is their newest thing. It's like make it mini food. And guys, I'm like, I'm so shocked by this idea because you actually like make the food. So like you get like all the ingredients and that would work like for your doll fridges and stuff like that. But then you can make it because it's resin and it like stays intact. I'm so excited for this. Like, oh my God, let me roll my intro real quickly and we can start making little foods. I am so excited. Are you ready to jingle your bells? Okay. <laughs> so as I said, I'm like very ecstatic about this. Like when I found out about it, which was really late in the game, like they, I guess they've been teasing this since November, but like, but I'd found these at Walmart. They are $9.99 each, which is pretty standard for a surprise ball. It seems in the United States. Um, sometimes they go a little expensive, but I'm surprised this one isn't like $15 because it does have resin. Now I've never like worked with resin, played with resin, nothing like that. So, um, I'm very excited to see people who are like pros of resin, like review this or let me know if it's good resin. But of course I'm going to find that out on my own because I got to do the little foods inside. So as I mentioned, this is a new line from Miniverse and I really am excited to see how they're going to expand it. And I kind of want to buy more, but again, I just wanted to make sure you guys are like cool with this on the channel before I go in debt with buying these. <laughs> Cause again, they are expensive. Now you could get either food or drinks, it seems like, and it's like cafe themed. So you could get like boba or like smoothies. It looks like you could do like little avocado toast or pies. I'm just like really excited about these. So let's look at the ball real quickly and get it open. So as you can see, it says MGA's Miniverse. Make it mini food. I don't know why I thought this was like Hidden Valley Ranch. <laughs> but as I said, you can see all the little steps that you're going to get. Like everything is individually packaged. Like this would be great for like the Rainbow High House because it didn't come with any food. I am of course going to see how this is for scale with dolls. This is exciting. Oh my God. And there's a barcode just in case you are looking for any of these. As I said, I found these at Walmart. MGA told me these are coming out at Walmart, Walgreens, I think on the 5th of December and then everywhere else next year. So um, yeah, keep your eyes open for these. But yeah, guys, now it is time to open my first miniverse ball. I'm very, very excited about this. And I gotta do this fast because I don't have much time with my sunlight right now. So yeah, let's do it. Now we gotta do our peel test. Let's see if this is any good. We're starting off to a bad start. <laughs> that was almost okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, now we got to see what we got inside. So the top is transparent. The bottom is yellow. It says Miniverse on it. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, so we got this. I don't know what that's going to be for. We got to use the instruction. There's a lot in here. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> so we got this. We got this. And we got this. I'm going to look into all this later. So the bags are made of plastic. I kind of wish they were made of paper, but you never know. They might fix that with like Series 2. So we have five colorful bags right here. We got some tongs and some kind of plastic bit. We'll look into that after. We have this. This says sunny side up and it's kind of made of like a really thick card stuff. This seems to be our collector's guide. And this basically shows you everything you can get in this first series. We have our drinks and then we have all of our food. It does seem that we only have six drinks and then we have the rest being food and cakes and all that kind of stuff. In this video, I am hoping I get at least one drink and one food just to see how they both are. I would really like to get the s'mores parfait because it has a handle. And then out of the food, I would love the avocado toast. Uh, I would also like banana toast because I actually love banana. Toast. And then on the back of each of the little thingies is their recipe so you can see how to make them. Like I said, this is going to be so cool. And then it comes with several instruction sheets in different languages. And it does mention to read this first. So if you are going to be doing this, read your instructions. Don't just like think you know what you're doing. <laughs> also, this is for eight and up. I really don't think eight is even a good thing because this is resin. But it says how to play with the resin. It says think of it as glue. Use it to make everything stay in place. Make it easier to pour. Try pouring it upside down. Blah, 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 blah. And then it just says to make it with your ingredients list and set it in the sun for at least five minutes until the resin has hardened. And then after you're done, clean your surfaces and equipment, store the product in a safe place away from children, which that's kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> Do not pour down the drain. And if it's still sticky after five minutes, just let it set out there for longer. So yeah, guys, um, make sure you read this before you do it. Okay, so we're gonna open this first bag right here. I don't know why it has like that, but I'm just gonna open it either way. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting a food item. So we got this little baggie with 
actual like bread inside of it. I'm like screaming right now on the inside. <laughs> it even has the little bread stopper and it says it is sun baked sweets and there's a like logo. So all this is like fake food. It's not like real brands, which, oh my God, if MGA got like real brand like, licensing to do this, I would stand so hard. Oh my God. But this is going to be so cute. I don't want to open it now. <laughs> so I guess that you get like duplicates of this stuff. Um, It would be really cool to just keep it like in its packaging. Bread isn't squishy, but we will have to open this for this video and see how it is. So yeah. So we got our little bag and it says keep cool. So I'm assuming this might be the resin. And I believe I'm right. So it seems like we have peanut butter and this is going to be the resin, of course. There is a really long label on it saying not to eat and probably some more information about it. And it does open and there is a seal. So that's good. Yeah, now I'm really excited. Now we got a little jar of peanut butter. Next, we have a bag that says, thank you. Have a sunny day from Happy Sunny Farms. And it is just a little white plate. And this is actually really cool. If you don't want to do the resin part of this, you literally could just use all this for like doll photography. Then we have this really cute, like kind of peachy orange bag that says Happy Sun Farms. And it says it's made fresh, fresh from the factory, of course. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, no, we got the banana tails. Ah! So we have this little container of bananas on their slice. Oh my God. Happy Sun Farms. Oh, I love this. Oh my God. They're little bananas. This would be great if you have like leftovers from these to use on the other things. Oh my God. You could do so many things with this. Oh, this is such a smart idea. Oh my God. Okay. So our last bag seems to be like some kind of like silverware bag. So let's see what's in here. It feels okay. So we got this like little knife. I guess this is to look like you've spread all the peanut butter and all that jazz. So now I'm going to open this bag as well. It's got our little tongs in it and this plastic piece as well. So like this little knob goes on the top of this and then these are like little tongs so you can like grab your food and like really place it into the resin i think that's actually really cool also i guess this is a table so you just like put it together like this and now you have like a little table for your food that is so cute okay guys so we are going to be making the banana toast and it shows you all of the ingredients that you're going to need for said toast in the little video i saw on youtube it seems like you cut it out so you don't get confused by the other ones so let me go do that real quickly and we can get started okay so don't mind how bad i cut it um but here is our little recipe guide so we're gonna need that first and our plate and then it seems like we're actually going to use the knife to smear the peanut butter on the toast. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put my little plate on its little like placemat. Now I'm actually going to open our little bread. Oh my god. The bread is so cute to me. I just love how it has the little stopper and everything. Oh, I broke the bag. No! Um, the toast feels actually really, really cool. I'm just going to put that right there. This is kind of reminding me almost like of a remint like product in a way. Okay guys, now we're gonna get our little peanut butter spread and I'm just gonna open it. I took off that long tag because it was annoying me. Okay guys, so I opened the resin. It was really hard to do. As you can see, it's in there. Um, so I'm now going to start using my knife and spreading this on our toast. Oh my God. So for this, I'm actually going to try to do this fast because I'm not sure if the lamps I have are going to speed up this process. This one needs a little more. <laughs> I think this is the best this guy's gonna get. Okay guys, so now that the peanut butter is smeared, it's time to get out our cute little bananas and put those on individually. Now, so far this is kind of messy. So if you're gonna be doing this, make sure that you're like using an area that you're not gonna care about basically. <laughs> okay guys, so now I'm gonna start putting the bananas on the toast and this is so cute, oh my God. It's a little difficult cause they're not like squishy bananas, but like they work, they do their job. Now, as I mentioned, this stuff really stinks. If you're like sensitive to smells, this might not be for you. I can't even describe it because I've smelt this smell before. <laughs> this is going to be so messy. Oh my God. Okay, guys. So I've pretty much made the toast now. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. Oh my God. Um, I obviously could have done a hundred times better. But now, guys, we have to go put this into direct sunlight. The recipe says for five to ten minutes. So I'm going to go put this on my porch and just hope no bird eats it or something. So BRB. So it's too late and there's no sun. Um, I just read the instructions too. It does recommend to wear gloves while doing this, which makes sense. It's resin. I don't know why I'm not doing it. So for the next one, we're going to be using gloves. Okay, so I definitely really do want to get a drink now because they look like they're going to be easier to make. I don't really have to like scoop it out. That was one thing with the peanut butter. I didn't like how the knife wasn't going all the way down. So I had to like touch it sadly. I do have my gloves now, so we should be all good to go. Ah, these are definitely a really cool concept. I feel like more adults are going to like this rather than kids. I mean, kids are obviously going to want to do it, but for like their safety, I feel like adults would love these a lot more. <laughs> now, I've never worked with resin before, so this is like my first attempt with it. So I'm not sure if this is any good. 
I have definitely never seen resin be marketed towards like kids or anything like that because you know, it's resin. Okay guys, let's see what we got inside. Okay, so we got another one of these like little placemats. So I'm thinking we got another food item. I really wanted a drink though. Let's get out our cool bag and see what's inside of it. Chocolate spread, okay. It's basically gonna be like the peanut butter again. So um, I'm very curious as what this is going to be. Here's our yellow bag. We have our plate in our utensil bag. It feels like another knife. Yep, another knife. So we got our, oh, we got our loaf of bread yet again. We're doing basically the same thing twice. That does kind of suck, but okay. And in our last bag, aw, we got some strawberries and they're just cut up in slices. So it seems like we're gonna be making like a chocolate spread toast with strawberries on top of it. And yep, it's strawberry toast. Ironically, it was right next to the one we had just got. But this time I'm gonna actually try to make it look like the picture. So um, wish me luck there. Okay, so we first have to open our little bag of bread. I just can't get over how detailed does it. We put them on our little plate. Now I'm gonna hope that this one was easier to open rather than the peanut butter. That one took a while to get the lid off and all the product was pretty much on one side. Okay guys, so I have got my little gloves on. I'm only gonna do this for the portion of smearing because I don't know how this one's going to be. Chocolate sauce on our toast. That should be a good amount for that toast. That schmear was really bad. <laughs> it's like always the first toast gets the best like schmear and then the second one's like kind of suffers. <laughs> but again, that is why- ah! But that is why it recommends to do this in a like more ventilated area. My room is quite ventilated, but not as like to the standards of this probably. Oh God, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, I think that's a good amount of chocolate sauce. I'm gonna put this away now and we're gonna start putting our strawberries on. Okay guys, so now it is time to add our strawberries. This stuff really smells like some kind of glue I've used before. Probably like E6000 or something like that. But yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a smell. There's our little strawberry. <laughs> So there should be like a total of like, I think 12 strawberries in here. So I'm just gonna grab our little strawberries and start adding them to the toast. And in the picture it showed that there was like six per toast and they were just in lines like so. I'm trying to just stack them because I think that looks cuter. We tried with that one. It looks a little better than the last one we did though. So we can't be too hard on ourselves. Now this one got a lot of chocolate sauce on it. The tongs are definitely hard to like grab everything. Of course, they would probably be easier if you just kept it all in the tin. But at the same time, I really wish that the strawberries and stuff that you put on top were just made of like a softer like plastic or rubber maybe. Just because I feel like that would like adhere a little easier with plastic tongs. They're both made of like a harder plastic. Like I've kind of given up now on tongs and I'm just using my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna use the tongs for this last one because I'm just afraid to touch this again. This definitely looks a lot nicer than the last one I just did. Ah! I spoke too soon. You guys saw I had two perfect slices of toast but now one's is kind of in a flower shape but the one looks like the picture so I'm gonna leave this one in the sun lamp again for a little bit just so it hardens a little badly and come back to you guys and show you what we've done so far. Okay guys so I've cured all of the resin. I just used the UV lamp that you could do for like gel polish. It seemed to work pretty fine. I did it for like around 12 minutes for each of them. Of course the sun also is an option just in case but in my case I didn't have the sun here because it was already dark by the time I started filming. Damn daylight savings time. Here are our little foods. I think they turned out actually really, really well. I am gonna go put them real quickly into those little display balls that they came with and I'm gonna end off this video with final thoughts and just some like warnings, I guess. If you buy this, you could do it a little better than I did. Okay guys, so I have Daria here holding one of our little delicious treats that we made today. Of course, I gave her the best one because obviously it looks better and Daria's a queen. I almost forgot that she was like a little baker in the show. So um, there you go, girly. So I think these are actually really, really cute. I do do not think that these are like good for children in my personal opinion just because resin is dangerous and I don't think children like know that. <laughs> definitely if you're going to be grabbing these I, I definitely recommend investing in some gloves just so you don't touch the stuff and also protecting your area where you're going to do this it will get messy. I did have some from the peanut butter get a little bit everywhere because of just how messy I did apply it. Because these ones, you had to use the knife to go in there, it is gonna get really, really messy as well. So just know that. And the gloves will obviously come in handy so you don't have to touch it. Definitely, 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 if you don't have sunlight and you wanna do this at night like I did, use one of those gel UV lamps. Just before you do anything, read the instructions. I think you need to know everything that goes on with this and not just wing it, just use the instructions this one time. But like, don't store this with like your food 
food it's not real food so yeah all this is plastic and just some added resin to like kind of bind it together but all in all i think it's actually really cute i think it's great for dolls even if you got duplicates of these i think the presentation was really cool like having a bag of bread is really good for like dollhouse and photography even when it comes to these like little strawberries or bananas that were in their little containers i would not be mad at getting duplicates because then i could have one that's like fully displayed but then also i could have one that could just be used for like props i do want them to make a kind of like play set that incorporates like the uv light i was talking about because i think that would be really smart for people who want to really go ham with these but yeah guys i think these are really really cool just if you're giving them to kids probably you should make them for them i don't know but it's all up to your parenting i'm, I'm an adult so i, I have my own money <laughs> but anyways guys let me know your thoughts on mga's miniverse real foods down below i think they're actually really cool and they bring something unique to the mini food land <laughs> and i think they look really cool so yeah i definitely want to buy more of these so i hope this video does well with you guys and i really want to just buy a lot more so yeah but anyways if this is your first time watching my channel hi my name is jay and i do doll stuff duh and i'd love you to join the channel also if you aren't following me on instagram or on tiktok it is at zombie x corn as well and guys i will see you tomorrow for another day of dolls must but until then bye for now